Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we continue my search for the ultimate or best in-flight tech case organizer sling bag. Slash, slash, slash. <laughs> so what I'm looking for is to be able to take my backpack on a flight, but be able to just put it up in the overhead bin if they're allowing it, if there's space, you know because I don't like a bunch of stuff underneath my feet when I'm sitting on the airplane. Space is limited as it is, and uh, I like to be able to have a little room for my feet at least. But I still want access to my gizmos and gadgets that I might want during my flight, like my Kindle Reader, my phone, maybe a tri uh, holder to, to balance my phone, watch movies, uh, headphones, earbuds, maybe my uh, face mask, hand sanitizer these days, charging bank or battery, you know, things like that. So I came upon the idea of getting a sling bag so it can just stay in my backpack as I travel from home to the airport or wherever. And then when I get ready to board the flight, I can pull it out of my backpack, zip up my backpack, it's ready to go overhead and just have this on me as a sling as I board the plane and have it with me in my seat. I can even strap the strap around the tray table. I saw somebody on YouTube do that. But uh, that way I'll have everything with me. I don't have to interrupt the person next to me getting up and down and into the overhead bin throughout the flight, anything like that. So today we're looking at the PGY Tech Tech Case Organizer. PGY Tech Tech Organizer. This one is black. They have a couple other colors, I believe. But I ordered this after I tried the Alpaca Elements Tech Case regular size and Alpaca Elements Tech Case Max, which I can show you here in a minute. Uh, but I'm looking for just a bit more organization and a little more room. So I thought this one might work because it is thicker than the others. This is the Alpaca Elements tech case, regular size. So you can see this one's just a bit thicker, right? And then here's the Alpaca tech case max. It's almost as thick as this, but still not quite. But it is taller, and we will get to why that's a problem or a benefit in Alpaca's case. So this little sling, or it's a tech case, but it does have these little attachments, which I'm told you can easily attach a strap to and wear as a sling or a waist pack or whatever. It's got this nice little handle on the side here. Uh, great material, feels really nice in the hand. It's uh, slick, but not as slick as the Tech Case Max in their new material that they have, which I found hard to just grab and hold on to. Uh, so this is this does have a little bit more texture there, texture than that. Has these nice water safe uh, water resistant zippers, and the cool thing about this, what I love about this, is the organization. There is a little magnet here, so this normally will stay closed, but I have it stuffed full of stuff right now, so it doesn't quite do that. And then you just can pull it all the way open, and bam, there's all your stuff. It sits on a table, easy access uh, to whatever you need. Now for me, this is great, right? Almost all of my stuff fits in here. Everything I could possibly want on my flight. Well, not everything, but, you know, reasonably what I want to carry when I travel. Only problem, or the biggest problem is, it does not fit my Kindle. My Kindle Oasis. So, one thing is, these interior pockets, or the, the inside or inner, more middle pockets, are shorter in height than the very front and the very back but still they're just not tall enough 
I don't know if you can see that, but you know, my, my Kindle is just right at the max. So I can force this and I can zip this up, but that zipper is like right along my Kindle. And uh, I don't feel good about constantly zipping back and forth with my Kindle rubbing on the zipper like that. It's probably gonna scratch it. And definitely, I can't fit a case on it. I do have a case. So that's my problem right now. I was gonna love this case. It has so much uh, in it, interior organization, even more than the Alpaca Elements case. So let's take a, take a minute to look at a few of these pouches and stuff that it has. You know, it's in one side it has these kind of uh, flexible loops here that you can put pretty much whatever you want in. This one's the biggest, and then the others are, this one's small, this one's smaller. This one is big enough for my charging thing. And it's got these two pockets. But again, a problem I ran into, these pockets are just not deep enough. They don't go down far enough. I want them, you know, this sticks up. This one will close in here. And this is the Goal Zero uh, Sherpa 15 battery. Here's a bigger size one, but this will not close with that bigger size battery in there, sticking up like that. So that's why it's currently down there. But those pockets are great for something, I'm sure. There's an extra cable in here charge my, my watch some cables in here I don't know about these pockets in this middle section they just to me they're too tight and of course this bag is designed primarily for photographers right so it makes sense that they would have all these slots for SD cards micro SD cards uh, sim cards all of that so can't fault them too much I'm using it for different things. I'm not a photographer, so I don't have all that stuff to carry. I'm thinking maybe I could get a seam ripper if I decide to keep this bag and rip out some of these seams, especially these smaller ones, to make these a little bit more usable for what I want to pack in here. Uh, but as you can see, this doesn't quite close if you pack stuff in it other than the minimal SD cards and stuff that they designed it for, which, you know, can't fault them for that. There's a case here, or a pocket here. And again, it's great, it looks nice if I could just fit my Kindle in there. Uh, this is the Kindle Oasis. And again, it's just, you know, too big, too tall, even on its side, and definitely standing vertically. Then you have this back pocket, uh, or front pocket, well, I don't know. The other side here is just a big packet, pocket, which I like. Um, and it does have this zipper pocket here. And I'm told there's a hidden AirTag compartment in here somewhere, which I haven't found yet, but I haven't really looked. So, that's it. There's no external pockets on this which is okay. I really would prefer a back external pocket that quickly zips and I can store my passport in for quick access going through the airport. That's another thing missing on this bag for me, but it's also missing on the alpaca. And I already did a video on the original uh, size alpaca and the Max and comparing them both to the Bellroy Light Sling Mini. But uh, Man, I was really hoping this one would solve all my problems, but it's just not tall enough this way, you know, vertically uh, to fit a Kindle. And it's mainly because of these kind of rounded edges. You can see these rounded edges on here on the most, uh, ex the most outside pockets. Um, so the most, the tallest, 
access really is in the middle here, but you've got this accordion kind of thing taking up a lot of the height that doesn't go down all the way to the bottom of the bag like you might think it would. So again, I could force this, you know, I can make it close, but I just don't think that's the way I want to live. Other than that, uh, the other problem is the battery banks. Um, battery banks I have at least, and the sizes that I think are pretty common for most people. Um, neither one of those really fit great vertically in this bag, but they do fit just fine laying down. This is my Eagle Creek lumbar pillow, if you wanted to know. Uh, the other thing is I want a bag that has room that before I go through security, I can take everything else out of my pockets, like my personal phone, my work phone, and my wallet, you know, chapstick, and just dump it all in there real quick, zip it up back in my backpack, or back on my sling, on my chest, or my back, whatever. And this one, I'm just not sure there's room for that, uh, and to still get it to close. You know, I put that work phone in there, that iPhone 13, and it just doesn't allow stuff to close up very much. So everything you add, you know, takes up some space. That way it would probably work. But again, that's just one of the phones. And again, that Kindle is the biggest problem. So if this bag were just half an inch taller, maybe an inch taller, you know, I think it'd be perfect for what for my needs but it's just uh, it's not so I'm gonna be looking for another option and I'll come back watch my other videos if you want to see the alpaca gear uh, I can show you a just a view real quick what they look like so this black one is the original size tech case from alpaca and this green one in there x-pack fabric is the max and really the only difference they're pretty much the same uh, lengthwise and the max is a little bit taller height wise but the biggest difference is just in the, the depth the max is a little bit thicker this way but these are great I, I really like these I love the bright orange interiors and uh, I'm not sure I like this pocket though. Not sure what it's for, but it's cool that it's magnetic. Um, but yeah, for better looks at these bags, you can view my other two videos that I did before this. All right, take care. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for bags that might work for me. Thanks, see ya.